Hello, Stampers. Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Ooh, I got to put my other glasses on. I hope you guys have had a spectacular weekend. We have had a wonderful weekend here. Oh my gosh. I got so much done. Becky Busca, you're the first one coming in. Welcome. It is definitely still feeling like summer here, kind of. It was in the 70s today, I'd say. Um, we had a beautiful day, and I have all kinds of stuff to tell you. I'm going to wait for a few more of you to get in here. You're coming in fast. Everybody's coming in hot. Hi, Julie. I see Julie Grasso, Julie Hillsman. We've got Sue Eileen and Lori from Ohio. Cindy's here, Central Pennsylvania. We've got Lynn coming in. Welcome, everybody. I am so happy to be seeing you tonight and stamping with you tonight. We've, I've got some fantastic projects to share with you. Um, somebody make sure that I do not forget the mail because I have a whole drawer full. Let's see if I can do this. A whole drawer full of mail right there. It's really tricky backwards. <laughs> Hi, Nancy from Lancaster. We've got Sherry. So, you guys, oh my gosh, I have so much stuff to tell you. So, Steve went up north hunting. Let me take my shoes off because I'm already starting to get warm. Steve went up north hunting. He didn't do much hunting, but he did do a lot of work at our um, property, which we call South Park. And we call it South Park because it's south of my mom's house. He says if we go the back roads, it's 16 miles, so that's good. It's south of my mom's house, and um, we South Park is funny, right? We have a cat named Kyle, <laughs> so if you've ever watched South Park, it's probably one of the most inappropriate cartoons ever, and I think that's what makes it so funny. Anyways, there now you have my secrets and how sketchy I am. <laughs> I probably shouldn't tell him that much information. But anyways, Steve spent a whole bunch of time. Um, our property has a garage and electric. Um, so it's got an electric power, a garage, a shed, and an outhouse. And I'm excited about the outhouse because when you go someplace, you need someplace to go potty, right? <laughs> so Steve got the out. He spent like four hours cleaning the outhouse <laughs> for me. I feel so special. Anyways, um, he spent a whole bunch of time. He didn't come home till yesterday afternoon. So that was good. I was glad to see him away from here and doing something different, right? Um, he does so much work around here. It's crazy how time consuming just living here is for him <laughs> and taking care of me, right? Because <laughs> he does really good at that. But um yeah, so he did that. So I was home alone. I had Molly Thursday night. Um, she stayed overnight because her mom had an obligation and her dad was out of town. So I took Molly and we went out to eat. So that was fun. And then we went over to, um, oh, we went and picked up the bunky boards for the new beds for Val and Molly. So we got those. The bedroom is all um, sleepable, I guess is a good way to put it. And then we went over to Haley and Jared's house so we could play with Val. And that was really fun. That was last Thursday night. Um, what else did we do? I don't know. Oh, I've got it. Written down. Oh, John, we've got reports for John. Um, I just posted pictures of John's decorated house with his spiders and his skeletons. The skeletons, I think, are kind of new this year, so that was kind of fun, but I don't know if somebody vandalized it the other day. He was out there putting it back together, or if when we got some rain that the wind came up and blew some things around, but anyways, he was out there fixing it the other day, and so I posted some pictures on my Facebook page. When we're done here, if you didn't see them, you'll have to go look at them so you know what I'm talking about with John's Halloween decorations. Um, there were a lot of comments under there that was pretty um, funny. And does John know how famous he is? He has no idea. <laughs> he has no idea how famous he is. So that makes it even funnier, right? For those of you that may be new to me, John is my next door neighbor. Him and his wife live next door. We've lived here for 20 some years. And um, we don't, we are high neighbor friends. That's it. We've never had John over. He's never invited us over. We chat in the driveway. That's the end of our friendship. 
<laughs> but when COVID hit last year, Steve would come in. Um, he came walking into my office. We were so bored, right? We were stuck at home. There's nothing you could do. So he would walk up to my office, open the door like it was an emergency and say, John just got home. <laughs> and we would laugh and laugh because it was just, we were totally bored. There was that we couldn't go any place, we couldn't do anything. So that was Steve's way of occupying his time was to then give me John reports. And it just kind of carried through and we continue to do John reports. So here's what's happening. Steve saw a possum walk down the sidewalk out of John's backyard, down the sidewalk and go across the street. We think it's headed over to Gino's house across the street. And we haven't seen Gino in a couple weeks. Steve's worried about him. He thinks maybe he's in the garage, dead. The, the, the possum is going to eat him. Um, we don't know what his wife did with him. And we're starting to get suspicious. And of course, I'm just kidding. But we haven't seen Gino in a couple weeks. So that's what made Steve think that she killed him. And of course, it's all just a joke. So nobody get your undies in a bundle. It's just funny. So that was Steve's rendition of where Gino is. We don't know. But the possum, I see all your laughy faces. The possum headed out across the street. We're sure Gino's in the garage dead. Yeah. <laughs> the man that I'm married to is a lunatic. You guys know this, right? Yeah, so gold Packers. I got my green and gold on today. The Packers won. Woohoo! Um, I slept through most of it. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but I did see them kick the winning field goal. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else is happening? Um, oh, I know when Molly stayed over Thursday night, uh, oh, we did some stuff and whatever, and then she was watching um the iPad. She likes to watch YouTube videos on iPad as most kids her days or her age do. And all of a sudden I looked at my clock. I was working, I looked at my clock, it was 10:30. I go running downstairs. There's Molly still looking at the iPad. I'm like, oh my gosh, Molly. Bad granny, bad granny. It is bedtime. Shut that off and go to sleep. So she did. The next morning, I set my alarm for 7 a.m. Hi, Haley, which I might add is really tricky for me to get up that early. And um, I got up at 7 and go trudging downstairs. And there's Molly. She's awake. She's on the iPad looking at YouTube, whatever. Um, so it was kind of funny. I made her eat breakfast. She's like, I don't eat breakfast. So I'm like, you're going to eat breakfast. You need to have breakfast. You need fuel for your brain so you can do good at school. So... I gave her a choice. She had a piece of toast and she ate it all and she liked it because I make homemade strawberry jam. So who's not going to like that? And um, then I made her change her clothes that she was planning to wear to school <laughs> because the big hole in the knee wasn't working for me. The dress had to go um, over the polo shirt and the leggings, two pairs. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> so I took her to school looking appropriate and um, I heard she had a very good day. <laughs> yeah, so we have a whole bunch of stuff coming up. Um, I have bingo registration is going to open on Wednesday. I've got my fingers crossed that I can get all of the links and stuff together to be able to post that on Wednesday. It'll be popping up on my blog. I will then share it to this Facebook page group. And then um, I'll probably also send out a... Um, newsletter about bingo registration. Bingo registration. I'm excited. We are going to be using Pretty Pumpkins for our cards. Now, bingo is $35. You get a make and take packet for five cards. Poor Molly. Debbie says, I know. Um, five cards. We're going to be using this Pretty Pumpkins bundle. We're going to be using the Words of Cheer, which have the happy um, die cuts in them. So that'll be fun. I haven't even opened this yet, so I'm excited about it. And also textures and frames. Now this was a celebration set. I just so happened to have a whole bunch of them and I am going to have them as an add-on. So if you didn't get a chance to get this and you saw the fabulous cards I made with it a couple weeks ago, you um, will have the opportunity to add it on. I just don't have all the details worked out yet as to how I'm going to do this, but registration opens up on Wednesday. We make five cards, and in between each card, we play a game of bingo. 
when you register for the $35, you are entered and you get to play bingo and win fabulous prizes. I happen to give away gift certificates. They start at $50 and go all the way up to $150, of course, based on how many people play. So the more that play, the more fun we have, the more stuff I get to give away. So also, my kit class for October is going to be sweet treats. I am so excited about working and designing with the stamp set. Now, there is a set of dies. It's called cloche. I think that's how you say that. Perhaps French word. I don't even know. But um, it has the little uh, glass thingy wobber that you can die cut and all kinds of stuff. But this goes with the Christmas set in the mini catalog. This is an additional set that kind of matches with this die and a couple of them, but not a lot. So I'm not going to be using the, these, but you'll have the opportunity to add them on if you want. Um, like I said, they go with a different stamp set. These birds, these are just outlines, and the stamp is actually in that other Christmas set. So it's a little weird, but um, I'm not going to be using them for my kit class because I just don't think you need them. Um, but if you want them, you can get them. How about that? Okay, so that's going to be my kit class. And then the class that D Dina Barb and I do together, we are going to be using the Artistically Inked bundle along with some fabulous goodies. We're going to have um, blending brush and the in color jewels that are so pretty, as well as the papaya ribbon and gold foil paper. And I was making videos right before I came on here. And can I just say, so fun. So if you're not familiar with that particular bundle, um, here's a gorgeous card. Dina actually made this one and gave it to me in a swap. This is with the Artistically Inked. Here's another really pretty one. We didn't do anything with this bundle when it first came out. It's from the annual catalog because all the stuff went on back order right away. It was hugely popular. So a lot of you probably already have this, right? If you do, you could choose option number two for the online class, which gives you a make and take packet with some goodies in it, some ribbon and the jewels and I don't know what else is in there. Um, but if you didn't get this particular bundle, you can get the whole thing and get the online class for free. So if you like the blowfish, that's awesome. Um, I just saw somebody else ask me a question a few minutes ago and I forgot to answer. Will I be going up north hunting? Gosh, I hope so. <laughs> I am a bow hunter. And, uh, uh, gosh, there's just nothing more peaceful for me than sitting in a tree with my bow. Um, and especially when the weather's nice. When it's really cold, it's not that much fun. But I'm um, <laughs> not going to lie. But, yeah, I'm hoping to go bow hunting. Now, you guys know that I am leaving Tuesday morning for my million-dollar trip to Stampin' Up. Oh, I'm so excited. Like, I'm trying to get all my ducks in a row so that I can leave here and feel peaceful and enjoy my trip because as you guys know, uh, well, maybe you don't know, when we go on vacation, we have to get all that work done that we would spend doing while we're gone ahead of time. So it's a little insane. And so that's what I was doing. I was making videos for my artistically inked online class. I was making videos just before I come, came on here. And um, th that class will be available later this month. Also, the um, sweet treats, sweets and treats, I keep calling it sweets and treats, will also be available later this month. Oh, gosh, what else? Holy cow. Um, oh, and I have my 12 Weeks of Christmas series started starting soon. I was hoping to get something out today, but it may have to wait. I don't know. But if you're not subscribed to my newsletter, if you don't get my newsletter, you need to... Um, sign up to get my newsletter and you can find it in the bottom at the bottom of every blog post or above my YouTube I'm sorry below my YouTube videos on YouTube I believe is a sign up here for my newsletter I'll try to put a link in here when we're done too if I can remember um, how long am I in Utah I'm actually Steve and I are not coming back until the following Tuesday so we're actually driving south when we're done in Salt Lake City. And we are going to visit the national parks. We're gonna head down to Kanab. 
Um, we're staying in this really cute uh, Old West hotel, I think. I need to look at all my reservations I made months ago. Um, we have a rental car. Then from there, we're going to drive to Vegas and fly home from Las Vegas. So it's going to be quite a trip. Steve gets to go golfing with some of the um, executive team at Stampin' Up! So he's really excited about that. We're going to do a train ride through the Salt Lake Mountains, which we're excited about. I get to make a video with Sarah. I know. And I'm having dinner with Sarah, Shelly, and her husband, Sterling. So um, Steve and I both. So it's going to be very, very cool. I'm super excited about it. I just saw Connie pop through. Connie was here from Marquette, Michigan, and she brought us some pasties, which are a um, favorite of you peers or youpers. Um, and we had those for supper. And can I just say delicious? So thank you very much, Connie. <laughs> and I actually cooked them. I know, right? All you got to do is put them in the oven. And I had to ask Connie how to do it. <laughs> Not going to lie. <laughs> Um, somebody just said they couldn't find where to sign up. So I'm going to write myself a note here. I've got a book campsite now. I'm going to write another note here for newsletter sign up. Okay. And as soon as I'm done, you can find it on my Facebook page, right where you're watching me right now. And in order to find that after I'm finished, give me a few minutes to do it. But you would just go like this on your screen to make it refresh. And then you'll, I'll try to remember Okay, so I'm going to bring me up on my iPad, and I've got all kinds of things popping in here. Oh, here I am. Look at that. And make sure that I am... Yep, my volume's down. Okay, I just want to make sure when I turn my screen around that I can see your guys' comments. Let's see. Oh, I know. We did a thing today. Guess what I did? We went up and we looked at some campers up in the Green Bay area, and I bought a second summer home. What? I know. We decided that we're going to keep the camper we have. It's old. My summer home, my first summer home. And um, we're going to leave it at my mom's house because her house is small and there's a lot of people living there. And um, it's nice to have some place to stay when we go visit to, oh yeah, somebody said bring your mask. Thank you for that reminder. I appreciate that. Um, there, it's nice to be able to stay there out in the camper, the summer home. So we have this property, South Park, and we decided we were just going to leave the camper at my mom's house. And then we bought a new camper for South Park, not new, used, but oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I can't hardly wait to show you guys pictures. Anyhow, we did that today and then we went out for lunch. <laughs> And it was wonderful. Julie's Cafe. You guys that live around here, you recognize the little tune. Yeah, that's where we went for lunch. So it was really fun. Um, Who said something about, so does he have a senior discount card? Oh, I don't know who's talking about that. Um, Steve is 60. So, yeah. I know. I asked him today because there was a senior senior menu. And I said to him, I said, how old are you? <laughs> he said, I'm 60. <laughs> it's really funny. I don't know that. But I'll bet he doesn't know how old I am either. So whatever. And I'm not 60. Just saying. Okay, you guys. We have prizes to give away. Enough chit-chat. Um, if you asked any questions and I missed, please know that the comments go through like 100 miles an hour. Um, I see some of them, but otherwise they're just like, brr, they're gone. So if you need me to answer a question, please let me know because I'm happy to do that. I am feeling very generous lately since I have a bunch of product that needs to get out of my office. Um, my assistant, Kathy Miller is forever trying to get me organized <laughs> and it is a big job, you guys. <laughs> so I'm trying to help her out. I have for making a comment last week is I'm going to be giving away the snowflake sequins. These are beautiful. They make great shaker cards or you can put little dots of glue on and um, um, put them on your cards. Kathy Showalter. Kathy is from Port Washington, Wisconsin. And Jenny says I'm 29 and holding. <laughs> Bless your heart, Jenny. Um, Kathy Showalter. You are going to get not only these beautiful sequins, but I am going to send you a Berry Blessings stamp set. If you already have it, please pay it forward and give it to somebody who doesn't. 
I am happy to be able to give these to you for your comment last week. Now, if you're new to me, all you have to do is leave a comment here. You can say hello. You can say where you're coming from. You can make a comment on some silly, crazy, outlandish thing I've said. <laughs> as long as you keep it nice. Hi, Ruth Miller. I'm happy to see you. And um, that will enter you in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. Mm. Thank you very much. Who just said that? Hang on. I just missed you. Debbie Spicer, especially when I have... 480 people watching me. Exactly. It runs fast. <laughs> okay, next up. Again, I am trying to get product out of here. I have a half a roll of this evergreen beautiful ribbon, and it's a half a roll because we use the other half for a class. So it's not like I'm giving you my used ribbon, okay? I just didn't want anybody to think that because I guess it wouldn't matter, but I don't know. Kind of tacky. <laughs> I can be tacky sometimes. I also have an extra Calypso Coral ink pad. And these are Love You Always treat boxes. Now, I'm going to tell you that I did open these. I don't know if I used one or not, but I figure somebody can get some good use out of these. This is going out to Barbara Dodge. All of this. Barbara Dodge of Powell, Wyoming. Yay, Barbara! Barbara is getting this for sharing this video. So someplace on, oh, Lori Wong is on here. Lori just joined my team. I'm so happy to have you, Lori. Um, someplace on your screen right now is a share button and you can share this video live. And when you do that, that really helps me grow my business. So for sharing my video last time, this is going out to Barbara Dodge of Powell, Wyoming. Congratulations, Barbara. Let me keep all this stuff in order here. Next up, for placing an order, you get entered into another drawing. So three giveaways each Sunday. I have a roll of this sheer ribbon. I'm looking Calypso Coral sheer ribbon. Okay. I have a Heal Your Heart. This was a celebration set from last year, I think, but it's a beautiful font. And I have a whole pack of the penguin, whatever it's called, play penguin playmates. I always got that wrong. I can't even remember after it's over. <laughs> a whole pack. I've cut six to six, six by six. This is for placing an order within the last week. Emily Nielsen of Marysville, Ohio. This is going to be yours. So just know that I am on a mission to clean out some of the products that I have here that maybe were celebration or have retired or, yeah, probably retired. So if you would like to get in on that, let me know by sharing or commenting or placing an order. I always appreciate your orders too, you guys. You know that. Okay, that was my basket of extra love. Oh, I think we might be ready to stamp. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think we got it through all the things. Yay me. I'm excited. Where's my first basket? Um, we are going to be making a gorgeous card because guess what? Tuesday, I believe, Tuesday is Shelly Gardner's birthday. Who is Shelly Gardner? She is the original co-founder of Stampin' Up. Her daughter, Sarah, has taken over in the last few years, couple years, three years, four years, I don't even know. But um, Sarah's doing a fantastic job. But Shelly has always been our um, fearless leader at Stampin' Up. So it's her birthday, and I'm going to see her on Wednesday, and I thought I better be making her a pretty fancy birthday card. What do you guys think? Right? Who said they'd take any product? Diana. All right, Diana. Good to know. Good to know. I like that attitude because I really don't want, you know, I can't throw this stuff away. Like I have a thing opened of these boxes, but I didn't use them all and now they're retired. So I really don't, I need to get them out of here. And so I always feel a little like, I don't know, a little weird about giving you guys stuff that I've already opened. But if you don't care, I don't care. Like, I just don't want to throw it away because that's really, that's wasteful. Okay, let me see if I can figure out what I'm doing here. We're going to be using the Merriest Moments. 
and I chose, well, first of all, I need a swap card. I'm in a swap every month that uses a bundle. So Mary's Moments bundle is beautiful. And, um, oh, it also comes with an embossing folder. And so as I, as I had a need to make a swap card, as I was designing my swap card, I'm like, oh my gosh, if I do say so myself, this is gorgeous. And I could certainly turn this into a birthday card and give it to Shelly. And so that's what I'm going to do. Right? Good thinking. Two birds with one stone. Yeah. <laughs> Mary said she'd be thrilled to get a half a roll of ribbon too. Okay, good. It's good to know. I just don't want you guys to think that I'm discarding my garbage. You know what I mean? Like that, uh, I don't know. But I'm glad you guys are telling me because I hate, to, I can't throw it away. It's That's just so wrong, right? <laughs> so I decided to bring in the happiest of birthdays. But I'll show you a Christmas card also with this. And I think we, let me get all of my bits and pieces out here. You guys know I like to kind of die cut stuff ahead of time so that you're not falling asleep. There's no sleeping on my show. <laughs> okay, I'm getting out all my little bits and pieces here. So hang on, here it comes. Ooh, ooh. I don't even know what's going on here. I haven't actually put this card together yet, so we could be in for a real fiasco. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna flip my camera around. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes and uh, I'll tell you when you can open it. <laughs> Judy says, I love your garbage. Bless your heart, Judy. I love you. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, let me get this in here without having any disasters. Okay, I think we're good, you guys. I always kind of like it to be straight. I think we're straight. Okay, Whew, here we go. This is the stamp set that I decided to use for the birthday. I'm gonna use the It's Your Day, Enjoy It. I thought that would be nice. Do you guys love this color combination already? Okay, here's our envelope. We are using Rich Razzleberry, which is one of my all-time favorite colors. Yeah, I love it. Oh, Carm, don't worry about being late. We're just getting started here. You just missed all my yakety yak, yak, yak. Pretty good report on John and what's happening with our neighbor Gino across the street. You may want to go back when we're done and watch it. <laughs> just saying. So we've got a card base here. This is four and a quarter by 11, and I've scored it at five and a half. Then we've got a layer for the inside. And... It's your day. Enjoy it. Let me take a little look. Of, okay, so I think what I'm going to do, the it's your day. Enjoy it. Oh, I got to be careful about this because I could really jack this up. Where's this stamp at? Did anybody see that stamp? Oh, I got it right here. Sorry, it was hiding under my, I'm like, what did I do with that? This could be a disaster before we even get started. Okay, so I'm thinking, yep, I'm going to do this. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. We're going to use Rich Razzleberry. You guys can, <laughs> you're going to go along for my whole trip here. Uh, Wanda says, have a wonderful trip and congratulations on your million dollar achievement. Thank you so much. I saw somebody ask if my, um, my stamp set is going to be coming out in the new catalog. That is an absolute no. Um, that takes a long, long time. My stamp set hasn't been made yet. That catalog is already printed and products are already like ordered and being shipped. So it's a, quite a long process. I'm going to take this on my basic white layer. Oh, so pretty, right? And I put it over here versus in the middle because I got a half inch strip of copper that I would like to put down the side. And you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to do a little bit more because this is... For Shelly, for Shelly Gardner of Stampin' Up. <laughs> I know, like you guys say you're nervous about sometimes making cards for me because you don't think what you're going to make is going to be good enough. That is complete nonsense, first of all. But secondly, um, I understand how you feel because I'm making a card for Shelly. <laughs> yeah, the pressure, right? It's a real thing. Oh, I just screwed that up. I'm just jabbering too much. Okay, so I just got a scrap here of Rich Razzleberry. I'm going to cut this at, um, let's see, five-eighths, five-eighths of an inch. It's just a strip. And I'm going to put it underneath 
this. So that's going to get even more fancy, right? <laughs> yeah. Shelly um, really does like, her style is more um, old, well, I don't know if I want to say old fashioned, but kind of shabby chic. That's a better way to say it. Not old fashioned. She's very stylish. I love her sense of fashion with her clothing. She always looks like just a million bucks. She's just a real nice dresser. And of course, the nicest, most genuine person you will ever meet. Okay. So I thought, oh, I better make her fancy. I got to do something fancy, you guys. And this is not hard. So for those of you that don't really get into fancy putsy, that's not what this is going to be. So I hope you'll like it. All right. Thank you guys so much. I see lots of people congratulating me on my million dollar. I'm leaving for my trip. I see some people coming in late. I'm leaving for my trip to Salt Lake City. It's my million dollar sales achievement trip. And I'm leaving for that on Tuesday and we are so stinking excited. Like I can't even wait. And it's just gonna be nice to have a vacation. Okay, so that's pretty fancy, right? Yeah, okay. Next thing, we are going to take this layer and we are going to, now, this comes with a lot of dyes, you guys. This is called something. <laughs> Marius Frames Dyes, okay? Not only does it come with all of these dyes, let's see how many are in here. 16 different dyes, okay? It also comes with an embossing folder and that you can get the whole bundle. You can buy just this or you can get the whole bundle with a stamp set that fits inside here and really accompanies it nicely. So. We are going to use this on a piece of copper foil paper. So let me get my little, this thing out here. I'm just push. I'm just doing that. So that, yeah, okay. So, so it doesn't move and wiggle off of there and whatever. Then we'll die cut that in a second. What we're gonna do here is we are going to stamp with Versamark ink, which I don't even have out here, do I? Oh, um, I've got copper embossing powder here. Bless Kathy Miller's heart. I think I, I lost mine. Like I can't find my copper embossing powder and as soon as I needed it, of course, I don't know where it is. So Kathy Miller brought hers over to me. You, you guys know Kathy, she's my friend, my assistant, one of my team members that like just saves my butt all the time all the time. So I'm going to put this on my black layer and let's close up that ink pad. Oh, by the way, you guys, this is my current host code. I just changed it. Um, if you're placing an order and your order's under $150, please use this code. If your order's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some, um, benefits from Stampin' Up, some rewards, and I want you to have those. But if your order's under $150, you don't get any benefits. And when you use that code, I get benefits. And then I am able to replenish my supplies and get you guys door prizes and all those good things with that code when you use it. If you are in my Technique Club, you need to be using the code every time you put in your Technique Club order. I can't assign it to you anymore. Stampin' Up! put the clamp down on that, which was a travesty, but whatever. <laughs> They're busy. <laughs> okay. So exciting. I, hi, Joe. It's just so exciting. So happy for you. You probably didn't see my post, but you are a SU celebrity now. I am? Why? What did I do? Oh, you have to tell me. <gasps> Marilyn loves my Packer shirt. Thank you, Marilyn. This is copper embossing powder, Versamark ink. And I hope this really sticks out because I'm, I'm looking for a lot of bling going on here. Oh yeah, this is looking good. I used white on a different one that I made and I just, using this copper paper, then I wanted a copper. <gasps> Look at how pretty you guys. Oh, what do you think? Okay, then. There's another die here. Hang on, where did my dies go? 
Um, right here. This one cuts out a little rectangle. So we're actually gonna have to do that for reals because I didn't have the copper embossing powder here to make it up ahead of time. So I'm going to, oh, you know what I can do? Hang on, I'm gonna bring in my little, oh, I don't have my little plates out. Never mind. I was gonna bring in my mini, that would work, but I got my big, big boss right here. Oops. Make sure that this is on here straight. Okay. Hang on, my crown is falling down. <laughs> all right, you guys, here it goes. Hit your million dollars in sales. We all read all about you. Ah, thank you, Joe. That's so sweet. You did read about me, didn't you? I think I was the 20th Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I want to say, I think I was the 20th one to, to hit a million dollars. And I did it last year. But then, you know, COVID is wrecking our life. Shelly's gonna love this card, Jen. Thank you so much. Look at look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so this is really nice because it cuts out a layer that fits right inside this little frame. So let me get these all put away. Um, I have already die cut this. <laughs> what do you guys think? <sighs> so pretty, right? And this is gonna go right in here. Are you, are you like dying? Are you like jumping up and down? <laughs> I know, right? Okay, <laughs> let's keep it together. Next up, I am going to, oh, we're gonna use a scrap here. Let me get some things out of the way. I'm gonna bring this ink back in. Now, the stamp set comes with some really nice um, flower images and these could definitely be poinsettias or not. And we're going to go with the or not for this card. So I'm going to stamp one right there. This is Rich Razzleberry ink and Rich Razzleberry cardstock. And then I'm going to stamp one right there. Let me put these away. Let me get this out of the way too. Okay, before I forget, this is the front of my card. Okay. Oh, I almost dipped it in the ink. And we would have had maybe some tears. Not too much. No, there's no crying and stamping. These little polka dots come in here. So I thought these would just look kind of nice, randomly stamped around this layer, just for a little something. Now, I thought about embossing these, right, with the um, copper embossing. And then I thought, no, <laughs> I don't wanna, I'm not gonna get that putsy. Okay, so I just have a little bit of texture on that background. Okay, we are going to get these flowers and we're gonna grab our dies. So we've got, this one is for the smaller one. I always put all my pieces back in here that I didn't use yet. So you can see all these pieces that I die cut, but I changed my mind and didn't use them. So I could perhaps use them on something else. So here's flower number one. Here's flower number two, and then we've got these flowers. Now there's a tiny little flower, a medium flower, and a little bit bigger flower. And I'm gonna do the two biggest ones. And we've got a scrap of copper here. So I'm gonna do two of each of these, okay? So I need two of these and four of these. All right. And... Here we go. Whoops, I just dropped one. Here's a big flower and a little flower. Here are our little coppers. Uh, let's make sure I got all of them. Yep, okay. Here's our coppers. Okay. Oh. This just makes me giddy. This is so exciting to be making. So, oh, oh, you know what, you guys? I wanted to show you this. This is the die cut. Okay, so all I did was die cut this, okay? Then, I'm sorry, I almost forgot. Then you have to put it, see how it's just pretty plain? Then you have to put it in the embossing folder and you just kind of look and see where does it fit and it fits in here just like this. And then the neat thing about this embossing folder, I kept seeing all these cards with these little square embossed things on it and I'm like, 
That is not our emboss. I do. We do not have an embossing folder like that. Where is that coming from? It's on this, and it's pretty cool. So, hang on. I'm gonna actually bring that back in here. I want you to see this because it's so very cool. I'm gonna bring my big shot or my big shot, my big boss back in here. And this is a 3D folder, so you need your platform. You take all of these out, and all I'm left with is my white platform here. And I'm going to run this through. Now make sure it hasn't moved on you because it needs to sit down into that embossing folder. Okay, look at the difference. It's crazy, right? So beautiful. Now, I'm gonna grab another piece of cardstock, so hang on. I'll grab this green. This is Mossy Meadow. I'm just going to put this in here so you can see what this looks like just if you emboss a piece of cardstock versus the die cut because you don't have to do that. There's so many options with this, which makes it super cool. <gasps> Judy says my nails are gorgeous. Judy, thank you so much. I'm actually getting my nails and toes done tomorrow. You know I'm going to see Sarah and Shelly, right? <laughs> So I'm excited about that. Well, I'm not excited. I hate getting my nails done. Look at how pretty that is. See, I was seeing all these little dots on, on a, on a um, behind a layer like this. And I'm like, that's not our embossing folder. Where's that coming from? But it is. It's ours. Now, you could take this and you can do this. So you didn't even have to do this. And you've already got a gorgeous card, right? So I just wanted you to be able to see that. Okay. Let's get things rolling here and show you what I did with this. I'm kind of pretty proud of myself, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Do you ever, um, but Jody, one of my other team member friends was here and um, she goes, do you ever make a card where when you get done with it and you're just like, oh my good Lord, look what I made. And I'm like, yep, yep, I have. And you know what cards do that for me most recently? These two. These two cards, I'm just like, oh, I made that, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, those were pretty. Okay, here we go. I've got mini glue dots. So what we're going to do is we're going to take mini glue dots and uh, we're going to stack them, stack these flowers. So we're going to take one of the bigger flowers. Oops. And we're going to stack that right in the middle here. And then I'm going to use another glue dot. Oh, hey, you guys, I forgot to tell you. If you um, ordered the, um, I'm going to curl this one up a little bit. If you ordered the um, fall stamp of Palooza <coughs> with the swag box, um, I sent out an email saying that the ribbon, the white glittered ribbon was on back order and that I would ship it as soon as it came to me it came to me and it is ready to go in the mail it came yesterday and it is going in the mail but monday is columbus day so it's going to be a little while anyways i just wanted you to know your ribbon is on its way so watch for that okay so do you see how i stacked that isn't that pretty like whoa right now i'm gonna take this is this this is my dark rich razzleberry stamp and blend marker and i am going to make my rhinestones match. So here comes, uh, oh, can you see how pretty? Oh my goodness, ah, I'm giddy. Okay, let's keep going, enough Kelly. <laughs> can you guys tell, I'm just a little excited. I really am. I'm pretty excited to be going on this trip and I'm excited to be stamping with you tonight. And you know what? It wouldn't be nearly as exciting if I didn't have you guys to share it with. So thank you for giving me that. Oops. Because that just makes it so much better. So much better. Okay. Oh, I need to, we need to get in touch with Haley and Jared and see if Jared can kind of take care of our cats while we're gone too. Oh, all the things, right? All the things. Okay, then we're going to put one of these rhinestones right in here. There's another one. It's so pretty. Okay, here we go. Hang tight. 
we're going to, I'm going to get out my seal. I like to use that when I'm putting stuff onto um, foil paper. I don't know. I just feel like it works better. It sticks faster than glue. Glue takes a little while to, to actually dry. So this fits in here perfectly. I better get it perfect, right? <gasps> pretty, pretty. And then um, we're gonna put this, make sure my card opens the right way or when I, aw. Uh, didn't I stamp on this? Oh, <laughs> this is my other card that I never finished. Okay, Whew. <laughs> what just happened here? Oh my gosh, you guys. So I just had this one all laying together. I didn't put it together yet. That was my first card. <laughs> like what happened here? Okay, so I don't know if I should put, I think I'm gonna glue this right onto the front and use dimensionals on my flowers. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> Susan says, wow, pretty enough for a queen already. I know, right? Uh, Peggy's a lot late. Well, Peggy, you'll have to go back and watch from the beginning. We've had a whole bunch of fun. <laughs> yes, we have. Okay, so I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to just glue this down. Squirrel, that's right, Jean. <laughs> I'm going to glue this right. I'm going to make sure this is straight because it's for Shelly. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna use the dimensionals. And I think I'm actually gonna use black dimensionals. We'll put one on the back of the little flower. This is a smaller, and then this is a bigger flower. And are you guys ready? Are you ready for all the this that's going to happen here? Should I put the bigger flower up here and the little flower down here or the other way? I think the other way, I think this way. So, here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is fit for a queen. This is fit for the queen of Stampin' Up. I am sure of it. I am sure. <laughs> I'm so happy with the way this turned out. All right. I think we can put some more. Do some more bling because Shelly, of course, is going to love bling, right? Oh, my good grief. It's so pretty. I love it. Do you guys love it? I love it. Okay, next up, I have an envelope, and I really do want to... Where did my... Hang on. Oops, hang on. I just threw my glasses. Oh, you guys, you know what I did today? I broke the screen on my phone. Oh, I was so mad. And the last time I broke my screen on a phone, not this phone, it was the same thing. I dropped it in a gravel driveway. The first time I did it, it was a bar. <laughs> Today was just looking at our new summer home. I, I, My phone slipped out of my hand and it goes right down on a gravel driveway and boom. But I think it's just the protector that broke. Oh my gosh, I see all your guys' hearts coming out. Holy cow. Okay, so you know what I'm thinking we should do here? Mm. Oh, should we put some of that pretty paper on? Hang on. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, here it is. Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, what do you think if we did this to the envelope flap? Oh my goodness. This just came to me. <gasps> is that going to be pretty on the envelope flap? This is gold. Do you think it's going to matter? Copper? Hmm. What do you guys think? Should I do this on the envelope flap or should I stamp it with the flowers and ink? Let me know. Yeah. So what's everybody drinking tonight? No, yeah, I know. Diana says, oh, no, it's a new phone. Yeah, it is a new phone. But I really think it's just my screen protector that's broken. I sure hope so. Because, oh, my gosh, it's so expensive. I spent enough money today. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Diane says she loves this card, and now she needs to get the dies. Yeah, you do. And you're welcome. 
What do you think? Should I use this? Should I use this for the envelope? I'm gonna try it. Hang on. We're gonna cut. I got stuff laying all over the place. Of course, I can't grab anything. Let's not wreck our card, right? Use it, okay. Diana says, use it. Two and a half inches. Use it, Lisa says it too. Okay, you guys, Oops, hang on, I gotta cut this at six. We're gonna use it, we're gonna do this. Okay. <laughs> Amber says she dropped her phone last week and her husband said if you want a new phone, you could have just asked me. Yeah, phones are so expensive, right? I paid, hmm, I wanna say $1,200 for my phone. Now, I have to get a little bit bigger phone than the average bear because I need it to have lots and lots of storage space for um, videos, right? Ann says use it, Elaine says use it, Diana says yes, 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 Lisa Spacek, ah, Donna. Good thinking, you guys. I don't know, I just looked at that card and went, mm, I wonder if some of that paper will work. I can't even remember what it's called, what's it called? Um, you guys know I'm terrible. Oh, well, it's in the wrong package. I've got it in the rainbow glimmer paper package, which is totally wrong. <laughs> Beauty of Tomorrow, I think it's called, right? <laughs> yeah, Nancy says if you purchase the screen protector, you might have a free replacement. And I think that there is something attached to my phone about that. Like, I think you are correct. <gasps> Ouch. I just stabbed myself. Not bad. I don't think I'm bleeding. Oh, maybe a little blood. Not too bad. Hang on. I got a paper towel here from dinner. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, so pretty, right? Okay, and I think I'm gonna stamp. Should I stamp a flower? I think I should watch this. Stamp a flower here. And maybe a little flower here. Oh, I got something on my stamp pan. <laughs> Diana says, so darn classy. Thank you. And do another little one right over here. I still got something on my Stamp. Well, Shelly's not gonna, she's not gonna notice that, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, but you know what I do want to do? I want some colored um, rhinestones on my envelope, which seems crazy, but guess what? It's for Shelly. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. <gasps> I've never put embellishments like this on an envelope. I'm gonna have to put this in a box in my suitcase so I don't wreck it. Oh my good Lord, you guys, there we have it. I am so happy. Thank you guys for your advice. <gasps> so pretty, oh, and look at that. She's gonna just, she's gonna gush over this one. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Thank you guys so much. I am just, like I said, it makes it so much more fun to be sharing this excitement with you. So I appreciate your um, playing along with me and helping me be so super excited. Okay, I'm just putting all my dies together here so I don't lose anything because, oh, this is such a beautiful, I would hate to mess things up for myself here. But yes, if you did not order this, you need it. And I'm just telling you, get some of the designer paper too, because I mean, this doesn't go with that, but it certainly is beautiful with it, right? But yeah, this is called, oh, here's my other die. Let's put that back in there. Um, you saw how easy it was and you saw how you can, you can die cut this and emboss it and make it look like that. Here's my other card that I didn't finish. Here's a, I got more flowers so I can actually make this. Oh, this was one of the Christmas ones. And I I wasn't sure as I was messing around what I was going to do with it. So um, I am actually going to stamp a Christmas verse on here and then send this out with Kathy. She's going to make my swaps for this bundle swap that I'm in. So I'm going to be able, I'm going to be getting a whole bunch of ideas using this bundle, but Here's the Christmas one with the white, and I definitely like the copper better, so I'm glad that I, she had it, that I could borrow it. 
but yeah, so there we go. Anyways, um, where'd that other piece go? The green piece. Did you guys see what I did with the green? Hang on. Here it is. Here it is, just embossed in the embossing folder, and that is gorgeous too, right? And then you can take this and do the thing with it, right? You can put some flowers on here or don't put some flowers on here, whatever you want to do, but it is certainly incredibly gorgeous. Um, so the dies are called Merriest, got all this junk in the way, Merriest Frames dies, okay? And they, I'm pretty sure they come with the embossing folder. Let's take a look, see? Here's the paper, mm, so pretty. Um, here it is right here. 16 dies, one embossing folder for $39. Or you can get the entire bundle with the stamp set for $54. So it's the Merriest Frames Hybrid Embossing Folder with the dies and the Merriest Moments Bundle. Very, very pretty, guys. So I just wanted to make sure you know all about that. Whew, I am so hot. <laughs> Now, I gotta set this aside. And we need to make another card, right? Yeah, I've got a couple more cards to make with you tonight because I'm not gonna be here next week. Next Sunday, I'm still going to be in um, Utah. So I thought I better make this good tonight, right? Yeah, not that I don't try to make it good any other night, you know what I mean. So, we're going to get all these moved out of the way and see what else. Oh, I got to get this. This has to go with that to Kathy. Whew, hotness. Okay, and I promised a fun fold. So, I promised that I would make that card for Shelly. Which die fits into the embossing folder so you can run it through at the same time? Actually, Kathy, this one does, but here's the deal. I did it um, when I was messing around with it, and it's super, super tight to crank through. The other one that we have, and I don't remember which one it is that does that, works, I think, a little bit better. But this one was really tight when I cranked it through my machine, and so I'm just thinking that's not a good idea. And, and that's just my personal opinion. And, of course, you can do whatever you want. But... Um, so I decided not to um, show it that way because I just don't know. It's uh, I'm a little sketchy about it. I know the other one works really good, and I can't remember what it's called. We have another one where you can... Oh, it was the seashells one, wasn't it? Where you could put the, the die right inside the embossing folder. That one worked good, but this one seems too tight to me. So I don't know. You give it a try. Okay, we have... A really cute and quick and easy fun fold. I've got two of them here because I wanted to use different papers. So this is the Whimsy and Wonder Specialty Designer Series paper. And I think it's supposed to be in the warehouse this week. It's been on back order. Um, I have some Whimsy kits. I'm waiting for 12 more packs of paper. And then I will get those kits out to you. So just know as soon as they get here... Um, the paper went on back order when I was in the middle of ordering stuff. So I only got half or, well, I got, I guess, three quarters of my order, but the last 12 didn't come in yet. Okay, so I've got my envelope. This is two and a half by six. And I am going to, yeah, Margaret says, is the other one you mentioned the seashells? Yes, I believe that it is, but there's another one. I think there's another one now and I could be totally mistaken. Funny thing is, is I did not know that you could, I, when they first came out with that, I didn't realize that you could put the die right inside the embossing folder with the cardstock and cut and emboss the whole thing all together. I didn't even know that. And one of you guys told me. <laughs> so, oh, thank you. Linny says, all these cards make for a most enjoyable evening. Well, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you could join me to watch because, oh, did I make this the wrong? Nope, I did this the right way because I sure have a lot of fun with you guys. I'm gonna be like having withdrawals next Sunday when I'm not gonna be on. I don't like to miss my Sunday nights with you guys. Okay, 
pretty, pretty, right? I love this. Okay, here comes all of our layers. I'm saying okay too much. I'm sorry. That gets annoying too. Okay, so, oh, I did it again. Okay, Steve, Steve will go, and we have an okay. <laughs> I do it a lot. Um, this fun fold, this is, these are our layers. So we've got mint macaron. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. This piece is three and a quarter by five and a half. Then designer series paper, four by five and a quarter. And designer series paper, we're gonna flip it over and use this side. And this one is three by five and a quarter. And then matching for our um, card base, this is one and a quarter by four and a half. We're gonna score it at two and a quarter. So let me get my paper trimmer in here. Oops, get the cutting blade out of the way. We're gonna score it right in half at two and a quarter. Okay, there we go. All right, let's see if I can do this right. <laughs> Um, where did my piercing mat go? Right here. We're going to bring that back in. I like to use this to stamp on. So here comes all of our bits and pieces. I've got some ribbon. I've got the Whimsical Trees stamp set and also polished pink ink. And I think we're going to be using Memento Black also. I've got... Dark Mint Macaron and Light Flirty Flamingo for my Stampin' Blend markers. And some more rhinestones because, I don't know, diamonds are a girl's best friend. <laughs> I'm going to stamp the Let Your Heart Be Light with the Memento ink on this tiny little strip. And this is actually, I think it's three-eighths of an inch. Oh, that's crooked. Let's try it again. I'm going to stand up. It might be easier to, see how I did that? <laughs> it might be easier to just stamp this on a white scrap and then put it in your paper trimmer and trim it because it's so little, right? <laughs> did you see what I did with that other one? I just, I just picked it up and threw it over there because I had this one stamped straight. <laughs> okay. Oh, Suzanne said she started making cards today and she can't wait to get the DSP to finish them. I know, right? Okay, so we got that done. Um, next, we're gonna take our designer series paper. And I'm looking at my sample over here so I don't mess anything up. Okay, we're gonna put this right on. Now, this is probably gonna be one of the easiest little fun folds because your designer paper is actually doing all your work for you. And I love it when we make our paperwork hard, right? We're gonna take this piece and we're going to, ooh, make sure you put the glue on the right side. We're gonna do this one. As our front piece. And now, where'd that little strip go? Oh, here it is. We're gonna take this and this is gonna be like a little hinge. Oh my gosh, so cool, right? <laughs> I love it. Okay, so you're gonna put some glue right down in here, and we're just going to put this in the center of the card. And just, you can eyeball it, you can measure it if you want, but I'm just eyeballing it. Then we're gonna take some of this. This is the ribbon that came in today that I had to send out for all of my um, retreat, Stamp Palooza Retreat swag boxes. And I've got it all packaged up. It's going to go out in the mail on Tuesday because tomorrow's Columbus Day. Dang it. I'm happy though because Jared has off work tomorrow. He actually had off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and now Monday, which is outstanding because he never gets that many days off. Okay, here comes... A little bit of bling bling with this glitter ribbon. This is called um, Glittered Organdy Ribbon. White Glittered Organdy Ribbon. It's very pretty. You can color it different colors with your Stampin' Blend markers. Look at that. This is going to go right on here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I 
got a little carried away there. Okay, I think that's gonna be okay. I have, do you guys have, um, where's my eraser? Oh, there it is. I just didn't look far enough. Do you guys have one of these rubber eraser deals? Yeah, those will really save your butt. You don't want the sticking. So once this dries good, I'll bring this eraser back in here and it'll take off all that adhesive. Where you want your glue at is right here. And you need to make sure this ribbon stays out of your way. Just like that. And you're gonna center this on the front of your card. <sighs> what do you guys think so far? It opens like this. Ah! Okay. <laughs> We're going to take this little strip. This is going to go right across the front here. And I'm wondering if we shouldn't put just a little, I don't know. Well, you could put a little strip of some other color behind it so that it stands out a little bit more. But I think I'm going to just leave it as is. But that's an option. If you, if you think this is too plain. Kelly's having some gluey issues tonight, isn't she? And then we're going to grab some of these. Oops. And I'm going to put a little diamond right there. A little diamond right there. Now, what are we going to do on the inside? We got to do something, right? Watch what I do. We are going to grab this little piece and I am going to stamp the holly image down there and then I'm going to use my polished pink to do this little wishing you Christmas cheer and magical moments that last all year. I'm going to see if I can get this straight. Oh my gosh I did. <laughs> Yay me! Okay. And then that's why I have these, is to color in this. This was, again, the light 30 Flamingo. This is the dark mint Macaron. And that just adds a little color. You could have stamped an image in here in a color instead of black, too, if you don't want to color something in. You can always do that. Put a little bit of glue on the back. And we're just gonna center this. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think this is outstanding. And all that holds your card together is this little piece. What is that? Oh, that's just a piece of, just that little piece. Yay. Okay, I have one more to share with you because this was really fun and I knew it would go nice and quick. Let's do one more. How about this? How about this paper? Ah, I can't hardly wait to get this one together. Okay. So I told you guys what I had for supper. I had pasties from the UP that Connie brought. What did you guys have for supper? Gosh, that was kind of rude just to go, oh, this is what I had. I don't know what you had. What did you have for supper? I always like to hear about your fabulous meals. Or you're not fabulous. I know sometimes you guys are saying cereal. Hey, there's nothing wrong with eating cereal for supper. It's awesome. <laughs> I had oatmeal the other day for supper. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I got sick this week. Weirdest thing. I was, what was I doing? I was online for a live class. Oh, I had my team meeting Tuesday night. And towards the end of my meeting, my cheeks got all pink and red. And I was like, oh my gosh, I started feeling hot. And then I felt chills and body aches and a slight sore throat and 
This, by the way, is the same Whimsy and Wonder paper. Salmon? Taco casserole. We love taco casserole, Tracy. Chop suey. Um, I'm using this print and this print before I use these two. Now I'm using this one and this one. All of these will make beautiful cards like this. Venison steak, Janie says. Good for you. Candy corn. Lisa had candy corn. Oh, don't let me forget to show you my mail, you guys. Speaking of candy corn. I went and bought some more candy corn because I ran out. Okay, these are the same dimensions. Four by five and a quarter, four by or four by five and a half, four by five and a quarter. This is three by five and a quarter. And this is three and a quarter by five and a half. These will all be on my blog, by the way, you guys. All the dimensions I share on my blog with still photos. And then, of course, a complete shopping list where you can go shop in my online store. It'll tell you all the ink colors I used and then, you know, the blends and all the things. Okay, here's our little one and a quarter by four and a half. We're going to score it at two and a quarter. Brisket and scalloped potatoes. <laughs> Chris had McDonald's. I'm good with McDonald's too. I like a Big Mac. Uh huh. <laughs> Who said that? I'm having oatmeal. Melinda's having oatmeal. See, oatmeal's good. I like oatmeal. I put a little brown sugar and butter in it. Mm. Delightful. Okay, here comes, for Pete's sakes, here comes our little piece. Oh, March said it's Thanksgiving Sunday, so they had turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, turnip, gravy, and homemade cinnamon, but oh my good lord. I should have been at your house. I had a taco salad. We went to Julie's Cafe. It was very good, by the way, too. Okay, look at, look at Lucky. I'm so excited about this. I think this is so cute. Again, just glue on that little piece. And then we're going to center this. I'm going to bring in my ribbon. And tie it, oops, right around here. I hate fighting with my ribbon, so I always usually, you know, get a whole bunch off the rolls, so I'm not fighting with it. If you fight with your ribbon, do the same thing. Just pull out a bunch so that you're not always fighting with that roll. It makes me crazy. <laughs> oh, thank you, Anne. Anne says so many pretty cards and papers. I know, right? Uh, they are too. Okay, so this looks beautiful. Now, you guys saw that I have those wonderful snowflakes laying here, right? Ah, uh, yeah, I do. Okay, so with this one, I decided that the white would be fine, but would it look better with a little, this is Blushing Bride, by the way, little blushing bride under it and I think that that would be really cute right so I am going to find my chamois we're gonna clean this and we're gonna clean this where's that stamp set go right here oh yeah huh okay and here comes one of these little things. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, did I want it to use? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll use a little blushing bride. That'll, that'll work good for the words, right? Oh, that turned out great. And then let's see if we use blushing bride on the front too. Let's see if I can get this on here straight. Oh, look, I did really good. I didn't even try that hard. <laughs> Uh, Julie ate too much at a Packer party. I know I love party food. Like when I'm at somebody's house and there's a party, I just stay by the food table and I can't stop eating until I'm absolutely miserable. And I'm not even kidding. I don't know what it is with me and party food. It's horrible. And it, nobody's ever really said anything to me to my face about it. <laughs> I'm wondering if when I leave you, they're like, did you see that she just stood at that table and ate the whole time? <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, 
perhaps I'm giving them some good entertainment. Okay, here comes some rhinestones again because I just think these are really pretty. Then I'm going to show you where I got this idea from because it, it's from a swap card that I got. And I'll share that with you too. Come on. Oh, I'm so over that. <laughs> Let's just get a new one. There we go. Hang on, I think I got some dirt on there. Okay, and then I thought, why not put one of these wonderful snowflakes? If you were an early bird registration for the um, swag box for the retreat, the fall retreat, you got a whole pack of these for free. <gasps> I love this idea as the early bird registration bonus. So that I thought was really cool. I hope you guys are loving them because... One side of these is iridescent. Look at a dimensional fits right in there. The other side, you can color this any color that you would like. So I'm going to put this right. Oh my gosh, what do you think? Oh, so pretty, right? Let me, let me clear my mess off. Oh, we forgot this. Oh, don't let me forget this. Like Kelly, it's not our fault. Is that straight? Yep, looks pretty good. We gotta put this on the inside. Now these are cards you wanna send to people that you just wanna sign your name. <laughs> you don't have a lot of room to write and it's a perfect reason not to have to write much. <laughs> there we go. Should we put a diamond in the middle of our snowflake too? Let me see if I can find a bigger one. Oh, here's a bigger one. Maybe? Uh, yeah, look at that. Isn't that fun? Okay, so I'll show you where I got the idea. This is the card that I received as a swap card. Isn't that cute? Now this is with that Penguin Playmates, which I remember the name of it, paper. Is my screen locked up? Because it is on my iPad. Hmm. Let's see what's happening. Nope, I think it's still going. It must just be my iPad that's locked up. I see your comments coming in, you guys. So there we go, there's that one. Where did the other one go that I just made? Um, do you guys see it here? Oh, here it is, right here. Here's this one. Pretty, pretty. Where's Shelly's card? Right here. Oh my gosh. This is Shelly's birthday card. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. Yay. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Please don't forget I always appreciate your orders. This is my host code. Here's my blog. You're going to find an online ordering button right on there where you can go right to my store. Also, I'm hoping to share a bunch of pictures with you for um from my trip. So, depending on, you know, what kind of internet we have and all the good things. Um I hope to be sharing some pictures on my blog. So my blog address is right here. You can find it there. And then I want to show you guys my mail. So I got a whole bunch of mail. I have the coolest things here. Good grief. Here, let me bring my loot in. all my mail. Let me move some of the stuff out of the way. Let me get Shelly's card out of the way so I don't wreck it. I gotta take pictures of these. I'm hoping to get my blog post up later tonight, just so you know. Okay, so look at candy corn. Ah! <gasps> caramel apple soft caramels. I am taking these with me to Salt Lake on Tuesday. Then, we have this. Look at this box. Is this not the cutest thing ever? Watch this. Ready? 
Look what's in here. <gasps> and guess what this matches? Uh, yeah. How about this paper? This is White Barn. Look at the owl. Oh, this isn't the owls. Here's the owls. Look at the owls and the owl. Can you guys see that? Matchy, matchy. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So I use these from Bath and Body. And I buy like 20 bottles at a time because I'm not a big person to go to the mall. <laughs> and I hate when I run out of hand soap, but they're in all my bathrooms and my summer home. Yeah, isn't that just the coolest? So I'm going to ask... Um, oh, by the way, who's this from? This is from Sarah. Look at this adorable envelope, you guys. And look at this cute card. Kelly, have a fabulous Halloween. Enjoy your create. I enjoy your creativity every Sunday. Enjoy Halloween with your family. Thanks for all you do. Sarah, isn't this just the cutest thing ever? Yeah, I love it. So... And I love the way this ribbon goes in this box right here. It's like, holy cow, hang on, I got something going on there on my screen. And then, can I do this? All right, hang on. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it back together. Boop. There we go. Okay, and then you just tie this back up, just like this. Sarah, I love this, and I would love it if you would send me the dimensions so I can show everybody how to make one of these, because these bottles of soap make great um, like hostess gifts if you're going to somebody's house and you wanna take them a little gift. This is a great gift, these bottles of soap, because I love them, but super, super cute, and I can't wait to try these. I have not had these yet, but oh, they look really, really good. Thank you so much. Let's see what else Kelly got this week. I got some more candy. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got here. We got a Snickers and an M&M's and a Hershey's. And this is the Hershey's with the toffee. I love that. Twix. This is Steve's favorite. I'll share this with him, but he's not getting this. And this beautiful card, this is from Nancy. Thought you might like this extra stamp set for your prize box. Thanks for helping me get my inky fingers on the Blackberry DSP. You are very welcome, Nancy. So Nancy sent this. I will be giving this away next time. And all these yummy little candies. And like I said, I'm going to let Steve have the Twix and then I'll keep the rest. <laughs> kind of mean like that <gasps> look at this you guys oh my gosh this was so fun this is from Carrie champagne look at that go pack this is like fabric and then some die cuts or stickers i'm not sure it says thank you very much for the awesome stamp of palooza weekend so many great cards and always fun Carrie champagne thank you Carrie, for the packer card that's outstanding then we have oh here's a cute one too look at this with the Plenty of Plants, I think. Is that what it's called? Look at this one. It's one of those cards. Remember when we made that? You are somebody who makes everybody feel like somebody. There's so much to love about you. Thinking of you. Friends are kind to each other's hopes and cherish, cherish each other's dreams. I love this. This comes from... Hang on. This is from Peg Herrick. And Peg, thank you so much. She says, Stephanie, I love your family update. Stephanie was a beautiful bride and her husband is such a special man to arrange for her family to be at the ceremony. Yes, my stepdaughter's wedding. Oh, perfect. Um, can't wait to see your million dollar stamp set. Me neither, Peg. <laughs> oh my goodness. This one comes from Susan Hine. And Susan sent me this card that I can reuse. And it says, you're pretty much my most favorite of all time in the history of forever. Isn't that cute? Let your light shine. This is very, very pretty. Quiet quotations. Gorgeous. 
So she says, I've been making dozens of the same, this piece of design paper for a card, and one seemed like the words you would say to someone special. Ah, enjoy your triumphal entry into the halls of Stampin' Up! this month as a millionaire. Oh my gosh, I love the way you put that, Susan. Hard work earns many benefits and offers opportunities to bless others. You have certainly blessed us. You are so sweet. Always so sweet. Thank you so much. Then we have, oh, look at this beauty. This uses that artistically inked again. So, so pretty. Look at that. Oh, my good Lord. <gasps> so pretty. Thank you for all your wonderful videos, and thank you for the prizes, the gold enamel dots, silicone craft sheet, and in-color square gems. This is from Bonnie Diebel. Bonnie, thank you for your beautiful, amazing card. Holy cow. All right, here's another one. This is from Marcia Colbert. I love what she did stamping inside of that die cut leaf, right? And Marcia says, I want to thank you for the tombstone treat boxes that I won on your Facebook Live on Sunday. Hope you like this card. I enjoyed making it for you to keep or pass along to cheer someone else. With so many fun folds, I was thinking of doing something a bit different for a card. The cabin is new is retired but it fits perfectly inside of the leaf dies. Oh my gosh, I love this. She says, thanks for all your ideas and fun cards. Have a blessed week. Fellow stamper, Marsha. Thank you, Marsha. This is really cool. I love those hash lines too, right, you guys? Oh, very cool. Suzanne Scott. Oh, here comes another one with this set. Look at this. Here's some more hash. Not hash, but hash marks. <laughs> okay, this is really, really pretty. I love this. It says, Kelly, thank you so much for the seasons of fun stamp set I received for demonstrating in your team meeting in August. Oh, yeah, Suzanne did a fantastic job demonstrating for us. Um, she says, I love it. Also, thanks for all you do to make your team feel so special. Suzanne, you are so welcome. Thank you for sharing your talent with us. Favorite part of my team meetings are um, watching people demonstrate because I learn stuff from everybody. Okay, this is from Beverly Holcomb. Look at this. <gasps> Isn't that cool? I love how that circle fits right in there. Thanks for the gems. What a wonderful surprise. Love watching you, Barb and Dina. Such inspirations. Beverly, you're so welcome. What a pretty card. All right, next up, we have Julie Sh Schlieve. I think that's how I say her name. And it says, thank you so much for the paper and in your word stamp set. I am so happy. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Woohoo! You're welcome, Julie. And last, you guys, oh, I love this. Did you just love this paper? It's like my favorite. This is from one of my team members, Kathy Beck. Thanks so much for the punch party stamp set. I never expect to win. So this was a fun surprise. Yay! I sent out a ton of prizes for my team meeting. We have one a team meeting every month. So if you guys have ever thought about being a discount shopper, my team is a really fun place to do that. You get a discount on all your future orders, plus you get to be part of all the fun. And um, it's way funner than just getting prizes in the mail. That's just a little tiny piece of it. But we have a team meeting every month. We have a Facebook page that is daily active with all kinds of great challenges and ideas on it. And lots of sharing and we love to cheer each other on it is really a place a positive a good place for people to be because we want you to be part of something bigger but something bigger that's fun and happy right so if you've ever thought about joining as a discount shopper it is always the best deal in the catalog all year long it is a fantastic deal there's a um, spot on my blog that says $99 kit. Click on that. It'll take you right there. There's all kinds of questions and answers. If you don't um, find an answer, you feel free to message me on Facebook or email me. Connie says, Kelly's team is the best. Thank you, Connie. Yes, Connie joined my team not too long ago. I'm so happy to have her, um, as I am all of my team members. We just really have a lot of fun. It's great to be part of a community where we get to know each other and and um, we share our passion for the same thing, right? Barbara, also being a member of Kelly's team is a blessing. Thank you, Barbara. I'm so happy you joined too. All right. I think 
I need to get this place cleaned up. I've got one more video to shoot for my um, artistically inked class so that I can do all the editing and type up the, all the project sheets for it. Maybe while Steve is driving, I don't know. We'll see um, on our trip. But uh, I was hoping to get it done before I leave. We'll see. I do have a blog hop this coming Thursday night, you guys. Thursday night at, I think it comes, it goes live at 9 p.m. Central Time, my time. And it is the chalkboard technique. Make sure you check it out. You're going to find it right here. Um, it's a, I made some beautiful cards. I used that holly punch, that holly border punch. You're going to love these cards. I was shocked at I had a really good weekend of card making. Like everything I made was just like, oh my gosh, I love this. Oh my gosh, look what I did. <laughs> that doesn't happen all the time. So it was a really, really good weekend of making, making cards. But I will not be live next Sunday, um, October 17th. I'm going to still be in Utah. So I will be live again on the 24th, which is a Sunday, same time, same place. You guys are so sweet. Barbara says, I have no idea how you get everything done. I don't either, Barbara. <laughs> I don't either. I have help. So, I mean, that's helpful. Kathy comes and helps me. Um, so that's always helpful. Thank you guys so much. I'm so looking forward to my million dollar sales trip. And spending time in the home office. And I'm really excited about Steve getting to participate in all of this. Because he just sees what goes on here. He doesn't get to see the first class treatment and all the beautiful, impeccable details that is Stampin' Up! and a Stampin' Up! trip. Um, he sees a little bit of that on our um, incentive trips. But... The more you hang around at Stamping Up! events, the more you see all the little things that they do to make things so special. And I'm just really excited that he gets to be part of this because I think he's going to come home with a whole different, you know, not that he has a bad attitude, he doesn't, but a whole different mindset about this company, the way that he, he might get to know them a little bit more the way I get to know them. So... Um, I'm excited about that because they are amazing. If you have ever, um, if you've ever worked someplace where you just didn't feel like you were valued or, you know, you just kept plugging along and you went to work and you got your paycheck and whatever, you never feel like that was stamping up. You feel special and appreciated and you are the most important thing in their world. That's how I feel all the time. So it's wonderful. All right, you guys, I need to go pee. Too much information? Maybe. <laughs> If you're watching later on YouTube, please click on that share button. Give me a thumbs up. You guys, give me a like right now. That really helps me in all of the, you know, internet analytics. Um, sharing my video, of course. Click on that share button. Sharing is caring. And that really helps me grow my business. Um, YouTube, click the like button for me. Give me a share on there. That really helps me out. I so appreciate it. I'm going to miss you guys a lot. I'm hoping to share pictures while I'm gone. So um, Facebook is the easiest place to do that. So watch for some pictures. I'll be sharing my adventure with you because I love to go on virtual vacation with people. <laughs> so if you get sick of me, just don't go to my page and just scroll on by. But um, my daughter calls me a Snapchat whore and I probably will be, you know, throwing lots of pictures out there to share with you guys. So just know that it's all in good fun. And uh, I don't mean to be like, oh, look where I am. That's totally never what I'm about. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you. We will have a safe trip. You have a great night and a great couple weeks. And I will be back all re-energized and rejuvenated. And I will have lots of stories to talk to you about. Have a good one. Bye-bye.